you can see, there is nobody on the freeway today. This is Sunday morning. We're headed to uh, uh, Vega. Did you get that in the last uh, little hint? Did you remember the Vega car? Okay, that's where we're going, Vega, Texas. We're only going to spend the night there, although I'd like to spend longer. It's too spendy. We can't get a discount there, and that was the only place, unless we wanted to drive 400 miles today, and I did not. As you've seen in the last video, I injured myself. That's what this is for, so I can use it as a, uh, what do you call it? Stupid thing? Hand rest. Hand yeah, rest. Because this muscle still hurts. This part of my chest. But uh, I think he's got me all taped up. Anyway, we're headed down here. We're going to see some other stuff. I just wanted to show you what the terrain looks like here. It's nothing but sagebrush and scrub grass, it looks like. I don't think that's sagebrush. Isn't that sagebrush? stuff on the back of here right now. I don't know the name of this little town, but looks like the pandemic hit it. I'm going to put the name right under here. Vicki uh, pulled up the name as we pulled in here. But uh, that's the second car passing us right now since we got here. Kind of a dead little town. What was the name of this town? Liberal? Libby? Something like that. Elvita. Elvita. El Alita. Elvita. Elvita. That's where they make the cheese. Elvita. Elvita. <laughs> it's a dead little town, guys. We just stopped here to use the portable bathroom we carry with us at all times. <laughs> Look at all the bugs. We got bugs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, boy. Anyway, we're on the road again. Made it to Walnut RV here in Vega. A uh, few more travelers here. Uh, I think four pulled in here, as you can see. This is uh, right off the freeway, so I'm sure it'll be nice and noisy. Uh, and the price, I think, is expensive. Being as I can't get nobody to respond to the office and they just said drop your money in a box. I don't know how much I'm going to drop, I guess. But uh, if you're going to stay uh, anywhere around Arima, uh, Ala, uh, Amarillo, yep, don't stay here. We found a nice one right down the freeway, right next to Amarillo. Just down from uh, uh, the Cadillac Ranch. Here comes another RV in over there. Big one pulling in. So, anyway, that's a review on this place. 
Lots of, oh, lots of foxtails. I gotta walk Hank out on the street because I don't want him to get one of them in his foot. So we're gonna go do a little walking. I feel like somebody run over me with a truck. I'm gonna go uh, lay down and relax the rest of the day. I don't even know what time it is here. I think it's, I think we're on mountain zone time now. Anyway, that's where the lady told us to go eat. Well, I didn't want to eat there anyway. We drove all 26 miles, no, 30 miles to find something to eat. But we also found fuel for $1.81, so it made it worthwhile. And uh, that's the review on Walnut RV in Vega, Texas. Yep, there's roosters. Oh, I forgot to add that this is old Route 66. So, uh, as you, if you don't know, most of Route 66 is nothing but torn down, old painted up, shut down buildings. Nostalgia. Is that what you say? Windy, isn't it? You can bet back in the day when Route 66 was really a, a booming, that was probably a very nice shop. You can see they used to have gas pumps out front there. Uh, that's what you, if you haven't been on Route 66, that's just about what you're going to see. And there's a truck over here. We'll walk over and maybe get a snapshot of that. What surprises me about this old truck, old Ford, nobody has stolen the radiator yet. Wow. That's usually the first thing to go. That more old torn down buildings. You can see the big signs used to be up there. See them? Old style motel signs down that way, as far as I'm going to go. Yeah, Route 66, where the wind blows. Sorry about the video not being real entertaining, but there wasn't much to look at. But, if you can guess what this picture uh, is all about, you're going to like the next video for sure. Stay tuned, we're going to go see something good.